Hello, YTPC. Roper Ken here. I'm going to get on here and do a little video. Hope everybody enjoyed themselves and went to the Mule Town Pipe Show. That's on my bucket list of things to do. Go to a pipe show. Never been. So today, kind of readjusting my palate. I just finished uh, the sample of uh, Seattle Pipe Club's plum pudding that I had. So today, in my Missouri Meerschaum legend with the Fifth Avenue Bowl. Apologize for the sun if you can't see this. And in it, I'm smoking Super Value Bourbon Whiskey. If you've never tried this blend, don't knock it. For the price, you can't beat it. In fact, Mutton Chop Piper actually had it on his uh, monthly tobacco review, his blend club, probably a year or two ago. And he was pleasantly surprised with the way that it tasted. It has a sweetness to it from the bourbon. It's a Burley and Cavendish mix. It's really not a bad little tobacco. It's made by Sutliff. Just because it says super value, don't knock it. It may not be their choicest tobaccos that they use to blend it with, but it's still good. So anyway, guys, Been seeing a lot of uh, presenters talking about beginning pipe smoking and uh, how they started out, how to do encouragement for new pipe smokers. This is my second time around. And it's kind of like one of those deals where somebody gets hurt and they have to learn how to walk again. It's kind of that way. When I first started out pipe smoking about 1989, 1990, somewhere in there, everything I had was given to me. My brother-in-law was a pipe smoker he always smoked Borkum Riff whiskey flavor. And he always kept a pipe rack by his easy chair. It was one of those that had the, the glass humidor in the middle, with the stone on the lid, and it held about 10 pipes all the way around it. So when he passed, my sister gave me his pipe collection and his tobacco. So I didn't have to go out and buy anything. I just started with what I had and went from there. Of course, the PAD took over and I bought a lot of Dr. Grabo pipes, which back then you could go in a Rite Aid store and there'd be a whole rack on the shelf. You could go get what you wanted. Tobacco was readily available everywhere. And I even did a little bit of blending myself, so I did have some expenses there to be at the end. But anyway, I basically just picked up from what I saw him doing as to how to smoke a pipe. So there was a lot of times when I got tongue bite. 
because I didn't know a whole lot about cadence or anything like that. When I started back in the second time, which is about three years ago now, maybe four, I uh, started looking around on YouTube with all the videos, matches, of course, and mutton chop piper, and basically relearned how to smoke a pipe. So my advice to you out there, if you're wanting to get into it or if you're new to it, do your research. Look around. This is a vast community with a lot of knowledgeable people and they're all willing to help and their generosity is absolutely amazing. So I would say now, knowing what I've done and my second journey, but if you want to start pipe smoking, and you don't know whether you're going to like it, go to Missouri Meerschaum or your brick and mortar, because I'm sure they sell these pipes. These legends are a little more expensive, but you can get a Missouri Meerschaum Pride, which is basically the same style pipe. It's just not finished. It's more of a rough cut finish natural finish. They call it a naked cob. You can pick one of those up for around five bucks and get an OTC blend, pouch blend. Super value blends are about four dollars a pack uh, for a one and a half ounce pouch. My Kroger store sells the bourbon blend, the cherry blend, and the vanilla blend. My B&M sells Captain Black Original White and half and half in the pouches. So if you get one pipe and a pouch of tobacco and a big lighter, you're looking at uh, probably anywhere from 10 to $15 depending on what you pick up. That way, you can tell whether or not you're going to be a hobbyist or whether you just don't like pipe smoking at all and you're not out much and you can always give it to somebody else I know I've found here as I've been back into this for about three I think it's three years it might be four when you get old you can't remember Anyway, I'm finding now there's certain blends that I just can't do, like the Captain Black White, the original. In the pouches, it's just too much humectants in it. It's too wet. No matter how much I dry it out, I still get tongue bite, whether I filter it or not. And I have to blend it with something else to tone it down to be able to smoke it. And this time around, I didn't realize how many different blends and types of tobacco were out there. I was always a one type tobacco, which was mainly back in the day was pork and riff, bourbon whiskey flavor in the tin. And I did some experimenting with some cherries and vanillas too and mixing my own for a little bit, which I may do that again later and share with you on the video. But you can get all of this knowledge from YTPC. But the main thing is, once you get this knowledge, use it to suit yourself. This is a great hobby. It's very relaxing. It's very enjoyable but it has to be for you you have to smoke the way you like to smoke what's comfortable for you what, what relaxes you 
what makes it enjoyable for you. What's enjoyable for somebody else may not be enjoyable for you. So just remember that. Just be yourself. And if you're a lurker and you're thinking about doing presenting and you smoke tobacco, pipe tobacco and pipes, be yourself. That's all everybody is who does these videos. I don't edit videos. I just get on here and say what's on my mind. And if you have questions, reach out to one of us. If we don't have the answer, I'm sure somebody else does. But this is a journey that's as individualized as anything else. You have to find what works for you, what best suits your palate, how to smoke it, what cadence works for you, what breathing method works for you, how you pack it, how you light it. All of that has to be your way, an individual way that works the best for you. Now, a lot of it is trial and error, but keep trying. You'll fail sometimes. But in, sometimes in those failures, you'll figure out what actually does work. So, until the next time, pack them, light them, and keep them smoking. And God bless.